provide. Yes, my God will provide. One way or another, my God will provide. Praise the Lord. I tried to look up the lyrics to that song and I couldn't figure out who who sang it. I couldn't find it. I did find another one by uh, Tamala Man that is God Provides that I listened to that was very beautiful. Probably titling this Jehovah Jireh. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me, checking in. I pray that you are having a good day in the Lord, a blessed day, and uh, that you're rejoicing in the Lord, that you know He is faithful and His promises are true, and He will perform His word. What He has said He will do, He will do. And um, we do not have to worry about provision. This uh, Jehovah Jireh had come to me last week to talk about, and then I had uh, looked at a YouTube site, Fear No Man, and he had titled his Jehovah Jireh, and I had reference to go there and just look at that, but the more I thought about it, I did want to share some testimony about God's provision. You know, the, the man at uh, Fear No Man channel was saying he and his family had never missed a meal. And, uh, you know, through the years, uh, as someone that went through divorce, and I certainly wasn't making very much money, when that happened, God always provided. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> I can remember a time that things were slim and I needed to lose some weight. So I did cut my eating down tremendously and a little worried about my son, what he was getting to eat at one time. But, you know, he was nine years old at the time and said, uh, it's kind of good to be poor and you recognize you're more thankful for things something like that I may not be quoting him exactly but it sort of shocked me because I was concerned that I was not providing well enough for him but the Lord provided and I can remember having a peanut butter jar and uh, go to fix him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it just dawned on me one day as I was looking at the jar, it wasn't a really big jar, and I thought, Lord, you're filling this back up halfway every time I do a sandwich. I know you are, because this peanut butter should have been gone <laughs> a long time ago, and I really did feel that. I'm not saying I measured it or anything, but it, I was just kind of in la-la land at that time, and it just occurred to me, this peanut butter is lasting and lasting and lasting. So, you know, he's Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if he provided for that widow with the cruise of oil and the little bit of meal and uh, just had it keep coming and provided through a famine. They were in a famine in the Old Testament, but she was provided for because she was faithful and obedient. To the Lord to do what he required of her you know another time I can remember being on a job that was not I wasn't meeting um, I was about to get in a serious place because I simply was not making enough income for my bills and um, I just kind of presented that to the Lord I said well Lord I feel like the widow here in the Bible that uh is just about to run out from me and my son, and I can see how this happens to people. They can't pay their utility bills, then their house bill, then their house gets taken, etc. You know, I wasn't whining or complaining. I was just putting it before the Lord. It's like, here I am, Lord. This is where I am, and I need some help here. And, you know, he put it in my mind to do my resume, and... Um, I had an education degree, and we were nine weeks into a school year, and I sort of said back to him, I said, well, 
I don't understand what good that will do. The teaching year has already begun. All those positions are filled. And he stressed to do the resume. So I did the resume. And I had uh, left there that job that day. And I picked up a newspaper, something that I just hadn't been doing. And there was an opening for a teacher's position nine weeks into the school year. So someone had had an emergency with their health. They needed a teacher. And Friday I applied for the job, and Monday morning I was teaching at school. So God provided, you know, the income was, wasn't was great, teacher's salary, but it was about three times what I was making um, working as a secretary for a pastor, just a little bit of money an hour and only getting 28 hours a week there. So God provided. But, you know, we have to, when he tells us to do something, we've got to obey that voice. And even though I questioned, I didn't argue with the Lord, but I was my natural mind. You know, how we need to know, kind of like Mary with the angel. Well, how can this be, not being with a man? So, God doesn't mind our questions. But, you know, the angel of the Lord got upset with Zechariah when he argued about the name of his son and he got to be dumb through the pregnancy of his wife and didn't get to speak again until he agreed his son's name would be John <laughs> when the child was born so the Lord is so good and he wants to provide for us and uh, I can even remember when my eldest son had a little preschool ceremony to go to and I had been very being very cautious with money at the time and I just said I was kind of new in the faith but I was going to trust the Lord and I said Lord I would like for him to have a neat little shirt and pants to wear to this and a lady that I did not know very well at all called me and said she was going through her children's closet and she had thought of me did I want to look at some of her boys clothes and I said, yes, I will get those. And I knew, I just smiled because I thought, well, here's this nice little shirt, etc. <laughs> so praise God it was. It was a real neat little blue pair of pressed, creased pants with a blue and white striped shirt. It was awesome. He looked very cute in it. And the Lord provided. I think I'm going to have to stop this video. I wanted to read out of Deuteronomy 